Here's the uh, 49ers playoff situation, by the way. They are now 12 and 4, tied with Minnesota, who got their asses kicked today, for those who didn't see it, by the uh, rolling Green Bay Packers. Uh, one game behind the Eagles, who somebody just DM'd me, and they're like, you guys got to talk about the Niners are on a roll with their backup quarterback. The Eagles can't win with their backup quarterback. The Eagles, was this two weeks in a row now? They All they had to do was clinch, win to clinch to get the one seed or win to get the one seed. Couldn't do it. They did have it, a starter carted off today after he hit his head into a guy, and it, it was a rattling kind of moment. Like, holy shit. They've had some rattling injuries. They, they feel a little Niner-ish a couple years ago where guys are dropping like flies, man. You 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 give him a break for not having hurts, but you also wonder well, when is he back? A and B. Did you I think keep... Schefter said today, so, like it's trending toward next week. He's going to play, right. which is pretty crazy. I mean, it looked like they were going to be able to rest him until the second week of the postseason. So if he's got to come back and play week eighteen, he loses basically three weeks of rest and rehabilitation. At least two weeks. Right. Well, if they if they lose next week and the Niners win, the Niners are the number one seed. And I think the only question is the Giants are set at six. They are the sixth seed. Are they going to try next week? And my logic is... Ideal male body? Well, He looks fantastic. You're not winning the Super Bowl, right? So you win 10 games and you get to the playoffs. That's an incredible season. Are they in a position... And you're right, you beat Philly. That's a pretty signature win. Yeah. The other thing is like, well, you can't afford to get Saquon hurt. Well, if you're him, it's like, are we sure we're re-signing him? We're not giving him $50 million. He's not under contract. Because I'd say... if. if you had extended Saquon and given him like a $40 million guaranteed or whatever, you would probably rest him. You're not getting him hurt in a meaningless game. I think you go with the Pat Hill, Ryan Matthews, run this guy like a horse. You know, he's leaving anyway, or potentially. I also think when you are, a, I think there's might be some psychology to being the sixth seed. You're going to play whatever Minnesota, right? In the first round, you think like we can win that game. Like let's go, like Minnesota is kind of limping into the postseason. Let's, let's go all out. And let's play this Minnesota game hot. Like, let's be hot when we go to Minnesota. Because that always seems, somebody always comes in hot. The Giants have done it before when they won Super Bowls. Now, I don't think it's a Super Bowl team, but would it be shocking if they weren't in a position to rest? They weren't in a position to rest everybody week. No, 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 no. no. Remember, Peyton used to rest the other Manning. As of right now, knowing what you know just about day ball from afar, do you expect them to just approach this I game think like it's a week? gravy season, and I think I do not expect them to approach this game like it's a bye week. Daniel Jones or Saquon Barkley gets hurt. Those guys are not under contract for these guys next year. Wouldn't you say part of resting a guy is, one, obviously play. I, I think I have a Super Bowl team. I'm going to win playoff games. Like if you're the Niners and you're arresting people or the whoever, I'm Packers obviously can't, but you know the teams that can, you know, Chiefs, whoever, given your situation. And like, I have this guy under contract. I've paid this guy a lot of money, like Debo Samuel. I would be very hesitant playing him in a meaningless game against the Cardinals where they might be playing some guys who they're like, fuck it, let's bring up some practice squad guys and guys trying to make their careers. I, I would be hesitant to do it in that situation. Now, Kyle might say, you want to get the high speed reps for the play. It's it's a tough, but I, Debo's under contract for a couple of years, so let's just that's part of it. Like he's Maybe on more your carries team. for Buck Mason. While we're at it, where's that? Where's the Eagle game? Do you know? Do you have this? Oh, I can tell you one second. Because the Cardinals, God, they're terrible. <laughs> uh, the Eagles. It's in Philly. Here's the other thing for the Giants. They just got killed by the Eagles. Don't you think there's a little pride? Like, fuck these guys. Now, it's a bad matchup, but... Again, I'm trying to talk myself into them trying to get the one seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I, I would not mind... Tell me Niners Packers, I'll tell you one thing. (laughs) Talk about big numbers. I'm in. Because all these games, then, next week, guy, will be at 1 o'clock. Remember how the the league always does it? I think all these NFC games are going to be at 1 o'clock. Beside the Packers, potentially. I guess the night game might be, it, it might end up being Titans Jags because it's just a winner get in. Can't make the playoffs. Yeah, I wonder if they can, would, could they not put, you're afraid, what would you be afraid of? You'd be afraid of Seattle losing. Well, no, if, Se- if Seattle wins, the Lions would not be able to get in even with a win. The Lions need to win and have Seattle lose. 
So if Seattle were to win, like what are the lines? Like ultimately, yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? For... If you're the NFL, you'd be afraid that Seattle lost earlier in the day. No, you, you would want that because then it's a win or get in game. You would be afraid that Seattle won, and then the Lions. Okay, it's like the Lions lose, like they're not, or they win, they're not going to the playoffs anyway. They're right. just knocking the Packers out. You you really want a game where independently of every other game in the league, both teams are fighting to get in, and that's really only the Jacksonville Titan game. But also, you don't, yeah. But but they they try to avoid putting putting a game at night that's affected by another game, right? Where yes. One opponent knows the answer. That's what I'm saying. The yeah. only game in the league that is pure in a vacuum, ind- independent of everything else, yeah. win or get in, is Jacksonville Tenth. But I think they'd be like, "Fuck it, let's just go Green Bay." They could, but they could also just go. You know what? All right, Fox is gonna America's game of the week is gonna be Packers Lions. It's the NFL. Who cares, <laughs> right? You, you ain't gonna It'll watch do Jack. Fine. <laughs> it'll be okay i would say though of all the matchups even just of playoff level teams that's the worst possible grouping do you think they're like shit oh like you'd rather have giants packers you just you'd rather just have anything like miami jets playing to get in just anything where it's just win or get in that's the last combo of any teams that are confident in the nfl that you oh, oh you're talking about the jags yeah, i'm yeah, just yeah. talking markets i'm talking players it's just the Jags have good players, but they're the Jags. Oh, yeah, awful uniforms, too. <laughs> the Titans. The other problem is the Titans were just on national TV and were terrible. So everyone just saw them. Like, everybody just saw them. Tough right? watch. Um, yeah, I mean, look, Niners-Packers would be uh, interesting. But from a Niner, if if we're talking about it from the perspective of, you know, what gives the Niners the best chance to win, there are much better options out there. Well, you right. It's a much easier game against the New York Giants. It just is. or the Seattle Seahawks. That's the easiest game, I think. Detroit, a little weird, just very you, uncommon. You see, no team in the league has scored thirty points more than Detroit. I think it's eight. <laughs> I did not know that stat. Now they've played right. Minnesota's defense is very good. The Bears stink. So it's. I think if you look at their schedule, now they, they just have offensive weapons. Yeah, they're plus 22, which is fourth best in the NFC. The Lions. Now, the NFC has a lot of teams that aren't, you know. The NFC playoffs right now, Philly plus 127. Niners plus 148. Dallas plus 145, Okay. The three and four seeds both have negative point differentials because Minnesota got their ass kicked today. They're now minus 19. Tampa is minus 32 somehow, but they're 500. The Giants, uh, zero point differential. And Seattle, plus three. <coughs> like, if you are the Cowboys, and definitely if you're the, if you're the one seed in the NFC, you will be kicking yourself if you don't make it. At least to the conference championship game, if, if let alone the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, I would say it's mandated as the one seed, whether it's Philly or whether it's the Niners, to be in the conference championship. Anything else is a massive disappointment, right? Massive. <laughs> There's actually quite a bit of pressure that comes with these top seeds in the NFC, which is always the case. But like, let's just say New England ends up playing Buffalo. I mean, that would suck if you're Buffalo to lose because you think you can win the championship, but. I mean, if the Chargers beat Cincinnati, let's just say that's the 3-6 game. If you're Cincinnati, you're like, well, I mean, yeah, yeah. all right. Baltimore is going to roll in as a probably an 11-win 5 seed, maybe 12. If they win their next two, they're a 12-win team. They're going to win tonight, and I think their last game is against the Browns. So either Cincinnati or Baltimore, one of those two teams is going to have at least 11 wins. The 5 seed is going to have at least 11 wins in the AFC. And that means the three seed will have 12. I mean, that's good. But so you're going to have multiple wild card teams with double digit win. Who did the Chargers play next week? The Chargers play the Broncos. So you're going to have two 11 win wild card teams in the AFC. <laughs> yeah. Them and either Cincinnati or Baltimore. Yeah, I think the wild cards, assuming Lamar comes back, I don't know if you can, would be better in the AFC. 
than better Dak yeah. and Daniel Jones. Well. Now, I'd say Aaron Rodgers throws a wrench into that. Yeah. That's what made I mean Aaron is just scary. If they if they roll in, what would they what would they be? A three game win four game win streak if the Packers make it? Yeah, they just they won today. They beat the Dolphins. They beat the Bears. It'd be five actually. They've won Green Bay. They've won, They've won four straight. So five game winning streak. It'd be five. And they before the five game winning streak, they had four total wins. So they they were three and eight. Uh, they were three and one, two, three, four, five, six. Then they won four and six, lost two, four and eight, which is pretty crazy when your quarterback's healthy the whole year, basically. Really is. You know, like star quarterback, like if you told me uh, Aaron missed five games, then this is nothing. But he he's played. 